everyone welcome back to my channel my name is emily if you've been here before thank you very much for coming back and if this is your first time you're welcome i'm a third year medical student at the nipro medical institute in ukraine but today's video is just to give you an overview of what the course is like and any other information that would be useful if you would like to join the course so i've already done two videos on the process of applying for the long term type d visa which you will require to uh, process your residence permit and also another video on the residence permit application so if you've not checked those out kindly check them out and thank you to everyone that subscribed and everyone that is watching my videos thank you very much i really appreciate you this uh, video is going to be based on a graduate entry program so i'll be able to talk only as a graduate entry uh, medical student so i will only be able to talk about the graduate entry program which means that you will start this uh, program in the third year of a standard six year program so it won't cover things that you should have studied in your first or your second year is just assume that you have enough knowledge for you to progress in your third year so everything i'm going to say is going to be in relation to the graduate entry medicine which entails one year print clinicals then you will see the croc exam and three years clinical rotations so the video is going to be in two parts so that it's not too long but i'll be covering some points about 10 points which includes the course structure which is what the course is about the university calendar, class organization, lecture schedule and timetable, the course content, the teaching style, the study materials available, mode of assessment, the grading system that is used, and also a little bit on attendance. So to start, the course is a four-year medical degree. It entails one year pre-clinicals and three years clinical rotations. The course is fully taught in English language, although you might get your lecturers that have got different intonations, but the language with which the lecture is delivered is English language. The learning mode of this program can be uh, fully on campus or you could get the option of doing your third year online. So that means that you would do your third year in wherever you're staying online then in your country, then you come to Dnipro to do the fourth to sixth year. So you could do all the four years in Dnipro or a year at home or a year online and the fourth to sixth year in Dnipro. The study mode is full time, so there's no part time option. So you have to be available to study full time. The course starts generally in September, that's the normal resumption, but usually some intake around February. And at the end of studying, you would qualify with an MD, which is a doctor in medicine degree. So the second point is the university calendar. The university calendar is divided into two. You've got the first semester and the second semester. So I'm going to use the date of this year to give you an idea of when the semester starts and when it finishes. So for the first semester this year, started on the 15th of September, with Ed is going to finish on the 31st of December this year. Then there will be a break between 31st of December till the 9th of January 2022. Then the second semester will resume on the 10th of January 2022 and finish towards the end of June. In regards to holiday, there will be few days between the end of the year and the start of the new year. So we would have a break from the 31st of December till the 9th of January 2022. This is because Christmas in Ukraine falls in January. So that is why the holiday is in that manner. And also for Easter, we would have just few days in Easter just for Easter holidays. So my third point is on class organization. The whole year is divided into groups, then subdivided into dozens. So the group consists of about 150 to 200 students, while dozens consist of about 13 to 15 students. For each dozen, a group leader will be appointed by the dean's office based on their performance or their application while an assistant group leader will be appointed. So the group leader will be a link between the lecturers, the dean's office and the students. So a group leader and the assistant leader oversees the running of the subgroup which is called the dozen. They receive information from the lecturer and the dean's office and pass it down to the respective members of the dozen. 
the means of communication is usually through whatsapp so if there's any uh, information about time for the lecture or the lecture materials or if there's been a change to the uh, lecture time or any other general information would be communicated to the group leader and the group leader will pass this information to their group members also the communications by email maybe of uh, lecture materials or other and important information also would be communicated via email. My next point is to talk about the lecture schedule and timetable. So the lecture starts around mid-September or the second week after resumption. So if you resume on the 15th of September, the first week is usually for you to be assigned to your dozen to get your registration done just to familiarize yourself with the university portal and also just to get everybody on board. So by the second week of resumption, your lectures should start. Before your lecture starts, you would be sent a timetable. You will get a link to a G drive where you will have access to your timetable. You would have lectures on several days of the week. So now, as a third year student, I have lectures every day of the week. And the weeks are divided into up weeks and down week. So there are some lectures you will have every week. Some lectures we have only on up weeks and some lectures we have on down weeks. So the way it works is that the first week will be an up week, the second week will be a down week, the third week an up week, the fourth week a down week. So it goes in that cycle that up week, down week, up week, down week. And that's just to um, arrange your lecture. So there's some lectures you will have in the up week and some lectures you will have in the down week. But there are lectures that you would have every single week of the month that means some lectures we have them four times in a month while some lectures we have them twice in a month the time for these lectures generally start like 9 a.m that's the earliest in ukraine and maybe around 6 7 in ukraine time but if you are in uk and you're studying online that means that your 9 a.m lecture would be 7 a.m in uk and your five o'clock or seven o'clock lecture in ukraine will be three o'clock or five o'clock in the evening in uk so if you're studying online but you reside in us or canada where there's a huge time difference so you might be taking some lectures in the middle of the night but if you're in the uk it's just two hours different so for your 9 a.m lecture will be 7 a.m in the uk and so on lectures are generally about an hour an hour and a half or sometimes uh, just short of two hours and that is just depending on the lecturer and the amount of information that they would like to pass across in saying that the timetable you'll be given will be the time your lecture would be in Ukraine. So if you are studying online, you need to adjust the time of the lectures to your own time zone. The lectures can be cancelled or rescheduled or the time can be changed. This is because the lecturers are practicing um, doctors, so they may have emergency situations in their surgery or they may be away for conferences or for talks, so they would communicate with your group leader and they will have you to reschedule or they could suggest a suitable time. So you need to get back to them to arrange a suitable time to cover the lecture. As the lecture that you will be given by your lecturers, there are other additional lectures that you will be given which has been organized by Medlink and also organized by the student union. The first one we have is the anatomy class. This is usually like 2 o'clock or 2.30 in the afternoon or every Saturdays. And this anatomy class is just like a brochure class for anyone that is lacking in um, anatomy or if you've not studied uh, anatomy before in your previous degrees. This course will help you to uh, study anatomy and also help you to have an idea of what is required for you in relation to anatomy for the remaining of the course so the second class is the crop class this entails lecture and also some practice crop questions so the lecturers will give you powerpoint presentation on topics that you need to study to pass your crop and sometimes they would also um, go over some crop questions just so you practice for the crop exam which is usually in june so for the crop section that happens every friday and every saturday this is the current time that these crop classes are taking place so on a friday 7 pm ukrainian time and a saturday also 7 pm ukrainian time the last additional class is the clinical skills this is 
a class in which you have doctors from the UK, these are consultants or practicing doctors in the UK. They will lecture on various fields of medicine, in gynecology, orthopedics, um, pediatrics, the list goes on. So they will have various topics that they will discuss each day and you'll be notified about this as soon as they can. But these lectures are not fixed on a particular day. Usually it's um, between Monday to Friday or Saturday, but it could be any time in the day as early as 12 o'clock or as late as 8 o'clock. This is just based on when the doctors are available or when they have the time in their schedule to come lecture the students. So if you are an offline student, your lectures will be in the campus or in different lecturers in which would have been communicated to you um, by your group leader. But if you are an online student, your lectures will be delivered via Microsoft Teams, Google Meet or Zoom. You will get a link for these classes before your class starts and this link is usually what you will use for the remaining time that you would have this lecture. There's also Google Classroom which contains all the information you would need. So the Google Classroom would have all your lecture notes, your PowerPoints, uh, place to submit all your assignments and also like a timetable or any other information that you would need in regards to online study. Online lectures also are scheduled for like an hour, an hour and a half and maybe just short of two hours. It could run over an hour, but it usually depends on the lecturer. The next point is what would you be studying if you come into third year um, of this degree, which is your first year in a fourth year graduate of tree. So the courses you'll be studying in your first semester, I'm just going to talk on the first semester because this is the information I have as of now. And you'll be studying nine modules. So these modules will include microbiology, virology and immunology. That is a single module. There's pathomorphology, pathophysiology, pharmacology, hygiene and ecology, pediatrics, internal medicine, general surgery and radiology. These nine modules would be your focus for the first semester of your third year. You might be studying some of these in your second semester like internal medicine or like pharmacology. Some of these you would study in your second semester but for the first semester you'll be studying these nine modules. Some of these modules you'll be having them every week. So like pharmacology, pathophysiology, um, we have them every week, internal medicine, general surgery, every week. But for modules like hygiene, and also modules like um, radiology. We have them twice a week, either in the up week or down week. Thank you very much for listening. So in the first half of this video, I've spoken about the course overview, the university calendar, the class organization, the lecture schedule and timetable, and also the course content. So the second part will entail the teaching style, the study materials available, the mode of assessments, the grading system that is used, and also a little bit about attendance. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope to see you in the second half of this video. Thank you very much. Bye for now.